and let's brew some French press coffee. All right, so first of all, we're gonna grind coffee. We're gonna grind it to the French press setting. Once we've got our coffee in, you wanna make sure your coffee's properly ground, which ours is. We're gonna add, in this case, three tablespoons of coffee. And if you're wondering, you're looking at seven grams of coffee for every four ounces of uh, water that you're going to be putting in your French press. So that makes it pretty easy to calculate, again, how much coffee you're going to need in order to get the proper cup of coffee. So a little bit of coffee math for you there. <laughs> After you've done your coffee math, or at least just measured properly, you're going to go ahead and take your, I'm using a gooseneck kettle right now, and we've talked about this one before here on FrenchPressCoffee.com. Either way, you want to get your water to the proper temperature. I've got mine at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. And we'll go ahead and pour. We're going to bloom first. We're not going to fill this up all the way. We're just going to let our grounds bloom a little bit. And of course, we've got the exclusive FrenchPressCoffee.com stirring paddle that you can make use of. And this comes with every single order at FrenchPressCoffee.com. Again, we're blooming our grounds. So I'm just going to give them a little bit of a stir. And again, that bloom just lets us get a nice initial uh, kind of beginning to our coffee. So after 30 seconds, we're going to go ahead and just finish pouring our water. You don't need to go too slow, but you can take your time here to get this right. And remember, you got to give yourself a little bit of room because you're going to be pushing your plunger down. So make sure you give yourself a little bit of room. We'll give this a little stir. And then don't forget the magic number. You want four minutes total brew time. So we had 30 seconds of bloom. So we're looking at about three and a half minutes, maybe a little less because I was pouring there. It doesn't have to be you know, super accurate, but make sure that you get that time in there so you can get the right cup of coffee. And as you're brewing, after you've given that kind of final initial stir, I like to take my lid and my plunger and just kind of set it resting right ever so slightly on top of the grounds there. I'm not going to press it down yet. I'm going to let it sit there and I'm going to brew for a total time of about four minutes. And after we've allowed our brew to happen, we're just going to go ahead and press our plunger down. So this will finish the brew process. And now I would have my hopefully perfect cup of coffee. Now it sometimes takes a little bit of practice to perfect this. Even if you're using all the math that I've talked about here, you've still got different factors that come into play, the type of coffee grounds and the type of coffee that you're using, and again, the temperature of your water, etc. But spend a little time playing with it because that's how you're going to get your perfect cup of coffee. But once you're done, that's your cup of French press coffee. This is the classic French press. Again, if you say the words French press, someone's going to see this in their heads probably nine times out of ten. So did you like that video? So go ahead and give us a like. And for more caffeinated videos, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to our channel as well. And if you do, I'll go ahead and give you a nice little coffee quote. Go on, I'll wait. You did it yet? Come on. <laughs> ah, there you go. And now for our quote. Remember that if it isn't caffeinated, it ain't coffee.